breezy day here. I think things are supposed to calm down and maybe be a little sunny by this afternoon, according to the weather girl. The weather's unpredictable lately. Uh, used to, uh, Johnny Beckman and Guy Sharp when I was little, they were the top weather men in Atlanta. And uh, I found out <laughs> there's a walnut tree over there. They don't have the first walnut on it. They probably done fell to the ground. Two of them, actually. Well, may not never had no walnuts this year. Well, there's more than that. There's three of them. Huh. Wow. Of course, the squirrels like walnuts. <laughs> uh, and it made it made good sense to me what the man said. Uh, It said, Johnny Beckman and Guy Sharp would call out west to uh, another town and a weather station out there and uh, ask them what the weather was out there. And then they reported on the news and uh, say that it's coming to our area. Mostly because it comes out of the, the weather comes out of the west. It comes to Georgia from the west most of the time. But but there is an east coast, a little bit on the ocean, and uh, sometimes it comes from there, and sometimes it comes rough. But I thought that was pretty good, pretty good story. That Johnny Beckman and Guy Sharp, they call out west and ask them what the weather's doing out there. Then they tell it on the TV out here. <laughs> well, there's not many blooms and flowers left on the crepe myrtles. They done their thing. Crepe myrtle. Now I hear a good wind chime up there somewhere. I see it. Because if it was out on a limb, it'd be a lot noisier. That one, it's on a pretty stiff limb up close to the trunk of the tree. It's on one of them limbs flopping up and down like at the house. Yeah, we're going west this morning. It's uphill, all the way to the top of the hill. Or some of that jewel weed. The hummingbirds, they really like that. What that is in the ditch. There's people's mail laying scattered up and down the side of the road. I know a man who used to go 
over the Georgia 400 to a certain bridge and uh, get out and hunt his dope in the middle of the median. The Mexicans would come and uh, throw it out on the side of the road, throw it out in the median and at a certain bridge, tell him where they throwed it out at. It was up to him to go go find it, recover it. Uh, ain't no telling what's in that package laying down on the side of the road. Uh, might get killed for touching it. These people, they got jack-o'-lanterns and they've got skeletons and <laughs> they got some burnt skulls under that uh, kettle pot there. Uh, they brewing up some Halloween. That's the spirit. <laughs> I don't celebrate Halloween. As long as you ain't uh, putting them uh, It's okay for little children to go get candy is what I'm saying. But some of that other stuff, the stuff that used to be behind it, the stuff that, it, that still is behind it. Uh, there's a tin man. I catch that lady at home one of these days. I'm going to ask her if I can take a picture of him close. Uh, it's high of him. <laughs> the top half of his suit. Well, we've reached our halfway point here. There's supposed to be a man that lives right here somewhere or other that I know, that I used to know. I ain't figured out if it's that driveway maybe that house back there behind this house or if it's down at the next driveway or the next one on the left and it may rain a little bit more too <laughs> we're just walking and talking I see some of that uh, lemongrass up there and Miss Weaver said that big old thing of grass when I spoke with her is a uh, pompous grass my mother used to find that on the side of the road old home places and stuff and she made flower arrangements out of it she took a course through the mail and uh, she she graduated that thing and she made she made some beautiful flower pots and stuff she'd spray that grass those fuzzy blooms on that pompous grass and on the lemongrass and stuff and spray it different colors and make flower arrangements out of it and it at the festival. And it's time for the festival, uh, October, right around the corner. Some of it she'd leave it uh, natural and uh, spray it with uh, some kind of sheep hair spray to keep it stiff and keep it together. She'd collect uh, old cattails off the off the lake and ponds and stuff and and I paint them up and preserve them yeah ain't no telling what that is <laughs> it might just be trash but like I say you can't ever tell It's a beautiful world we live in. It's got some beautiful people in it. But, but, but we are simple and ugly, some of us. All, all of us are simple. We're not all ugly. I'm ugly. <laughs> oh, man. We're getting new cable. 
fiber, new fiber cable by the end of the year. At the end of the year, I'm switch back to a, a cheaper foam plan, and uh, I can still up my load, upload my videos on that windstream internet. It takes three hours to up, two to three hours to upload a 20 minute video. But since I got the new phone plan with high speed internet, it cost me $65 a month. But it don't take me just a few minutes to upload a 20 minute video. And it don't mess, it don't, it don't mess my phone up all that long. Okay. That cable and those power lines are going through those bushes are. Somebody will be cutting that down one of these days. Right through them trees. Hmm. That's Nimblecrest up there, a rustic community, a rustic cabin community. But there's a mobile home or two up there too. Boop. I wouldn't trade even. I ain't got me just a few teeth left, but I'd like to have a black, water, black walnut or two crazy. Them things are good for your health. Good for your heart. I just have noticed them. I used to make it a habit not to come up here. Up this way. Still a little skittish about it. <laughs> Uncomfortable. I've tried to make approach on some of them people up there. You know, they don't, they don't appreciate you stopping and asking them no questions or wanting anything. <laughs> they say you come and get up and shut the door before you get to the door. <laughs> So three mailboxes open. <laughs> Apparently they don't stay shut. I know the mailman ain't been since I looked a while ago. No. No, no. Let's go over here and get a picture of these morning glories. This is on Miss Weaver's property. Ain't that pretty? Look at that purple color wire. That's pretty. Yeah. I had one of those earlier over at the house. It done its thing. Here's a trail where she got your horse. Yeah, I reckon that's goldenrod. I don't know for sure it is, but I think it is. Or some of them jar old spiders, we call them. I ain't gonna go down through there. Of course, spider webs. I bet there was lots of blackberries here at one time. Lots of copperheads and rattlesnakes. <laughs> I seen the biggest black snake here a while back. 
I ever seen in my life. I got it by the tail, tried to pull it out of that bush it was in. But it wasn't a bush, it was a pile of brush. Thank you. Well, we're going up back up to the house. I hope that uh, I hope that car, that uh, Sam's car, will come. So I'm trying that old telephone. That way I have my emergency telephone. The service is free. I got the phone unlocked. It's an old phone. It went for thirty nine dollars. It's one of them slow things. It takes forever to work. Search the internet. Anything you want to do on it, it's slow, real slow. I got finally got a Batman cast for the TV this morning. It kept giving me a message on the screen that said not supported. I've got a casting device. You have to unplug it every once in a while and let it reset itself. figure eight antenna up there it works when it wants to when it wants to it works when it wants to uh, I can rotate it round and round this is too far away from Atlanta and from the local towers there's a big old bank over there big old mountain that blocks it too that's the reason I got it way up high trying to get a better signal but when the seasons change it changes and when it rains real hard that me TV that I pay for it comes in free <laughs> only when it's raining well friends This is walking and talking with Norman Chester. We've recorded this uh, with a magnification on this morning, uh, on number two setting. Not number one, but number two. Uh, one day we're gonna put a telephone camera here in our shirt pocket and we're gonna ride that bicycle down the road and back. See how that does. <laughs> God bless you, friends. Have a great day.